Hello everyone and welcome to this video. This is the modem, the router, the internet setup. But as you can see it's a huge mess with all the cables going everywhere. So taking inspiration from Linus Tech Tips and Jay's Two Cents, I'm going to figure out a way to mount all of this onto this board so it's all nicely laid out which will just make it a lot easier for setting up and cleaning and all sorts like that because this morning some 30 centimeter or 300 millimeter cable ties arrived and a extension cable arrived because I'm going to mount this to the board as well which means I'll need an extension cable going from the wall on, onto this so I've got the extension cable for that and the cable ties I'm not going to use velcro or glue or anything like that yeah I'm just going to set it up and then try and figure out uh, like where's the best position for everything so I have drawn up some mock plans, just roughly. I'll probably just insert the image of my mock plans over this bit of the video, but I was planning on laying it out something like this. So that would then go between the two of them. And we've got the powers, which, which I originally planned on that one going in there. That one going in there, and now of course I'll like deal with the cables and stuff after. And there's this cable which goes, yeah, that cable which then goes on there. So while I figure out all the dimensions and where I want things positioned, I'm just simply going to time lapse it. I'll put it all on the floor, which is why I've set it up for this shot. I haven't put it on the floor yet, obviously, but I'll just put it on the floor and then time lapse me messing about and trying to find best locations for it. Okay, so let's. Begin. Let's measure it all. Right, I think I may be ready to start drilling holes, but that of course means I need to go downstairs, set up the workbench and then come back and uh, get everything. So the block of wood I was going to use is a particle board so it just disintegrates. So I've found another board but it does mean I'll need to re-measure everything out. 55. Don't do that. And just cut along there. This is a template that can just go back down by the wall where it was before. And yeah, so now I'm going to go and get a vise. And well, first remove all these pin things. So now I need to go and get a vise, clamp it down, and get the jigsaw and do it across there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut approximately halfway and then I'm going to clamp it from the other side and cut the remaining halfway because if I do it all from one side it will be fairly unstable. I'm probably going to do something... Right, there's that side done. Okay, so I'm going to cut along there now, the other side. There's that done. Finish with the jigsaw now. So I've encountered a few issues, the main being the only drill I can find doesn't support drill bits that are, well, bigger than that. So I'm going to have issues there, but whatever, let's just get on and do these, these two holes anyway for now. Then I'll have to make do or improvise, does it work? Turn it up a bit, which way do I turn it? That's slow. Right, now we are we're done. Yeah, looking at these holes, these holes look plenty big enough for the 
uh, cable ties to go through so I'll probably just leave it the way it is. Now I'll just jump cut you to when I'm back in stide I'm ready to attach everything to it. Let's begin putting things back on. Now unfortunately the holes aren't big enough for the head of the uh, cable tie to go through so this could get quite interesting. No, what I need to do is I need to put oh plenty of cable tie room I think. Oh yeah that's fine. Yes, I know it can move about, that's by design. I know it's not going to be solid. Make everything so much easier. Now there's a little ADSL filter which I intended on going here. Which, yes, I can put it here. Oh, no, can't, there we go. Modern on the right, router or router, whatever you want to call it, on the left. Yes, I do need two cable ties for this, but no need to worry. That's why I bought a hundred of them, you see. I kind of want that cable tie level at the top there, like that. There we go. And then it will be the same story for this. Two of them again, I'm guessing. This is the uh, BT Infinity Home Hub 3, and it's a weird shape, which makes it really awkward for uh, mounting. Looks like I'm missing something, and I am, it's all these cables. I'm really pleased with this. This is amazing. Look at what I've created. Right, so this is my new network panel. This is awesome. So here is the network board where it was originally, except this time it's all tied down. Now I know there's this cable at the back that's a mess, but I'll sort that out once I make sure that everything works. And I've also plugged my fan, my desktop fan, and this here is the power brick for my hard drive dock. I can get around that bar. Ow, that was my head you just heard. Turn it on. We have power from the modem, and we have the power turning on of the router. The DSL is flickering, but that always flickers, I think. DSL's gone solid, that's good. We've got wireless, that's even better. So that one does stay, right there we go, now the broadband should come on any second. And if it doesn't then, well, we've got issues. Right, well it's saying that LAN 1's connected. Oh there we go, broadband has turned on. Right, I can confirm all of my changes, it, it still works. This is awesome, it's like all organised and everything. But what I'm going to be doing now is cable managing the cables. I'm going to begin by just like removing all the cables that are removable and then I'll cable manage them one by one. So I've moved this to the floor and I'm going to go ahead and snip off these uh, cable tie end bits. Now, let's cable manage. It is far from the neatest job but I'm happy with that. I should probably put some at the end as well. Right, I'll do that. I've got plenty of cable ties, so... Right, there's the router's power. Now I need to do the modem power, which is still over here. Similar style again. I want that one going in like that, something like that. I like that. Right, yes, let's have that. I'm happy with that. Right, there's the router, power, modem, power. Now I need to go back to this ADSL filter cable. And I don't know where I've put it. So now, I'm going to do a similar method for this, I think. Oh, just like that. Should have got one or two. I'm going to put two on it, why not? I like organisation. <laughs> so much tidier. Well, it is, because that's what organisation usually is. It's organising something so it's tidy and not a mess. So there's those. Now I just need to do the extension cable, but in order to do this one correctly, I need to go and plug it into the wall so I can like tie up the correct length bit. Here I am ready to cable manage this cable, but before I'll, I do, I'll just say, if you can hear a fan, it's because I've got it turned on and pointing at me because it's stupidly hot today. You can see good enough. You can see that plug and you can see that plug. That's all that matters. Mm, I'm going to start cabling it here, I think. I don't want this one to be super neat like these ones because this one is 
at the extension cable, so I need some some leeway. I'm going to do it like that. That's how I'm going to do it. I can't reach my cable ties, so I'm going to use this twist tie. In fact, as this is the extension cable, I might just always use the twist tie. Because this, like I said, this is the extension cable, so I don't want it completely tied up. Yeah, I'm just going to use this twist tie. There is now my internet setup cable tidied. So we've got the, the uh, signal going from the wall to the ADSL filter, which then goes through that cable into there, which then takes a signal, puts it through the blue ethernet cable into this one, and that one's got its power plugs in there. And then this other blue one here, this ethernet cable goes off to my computer. So there is the internet set up, nice, cable managed, looks very nice, still very pleased with what I've done. Here is the final product, the final network board setup. So as you can see, it's all mounted to the board and literally all you need to do to uh, set it up and turn it on is just put this board wherever you want to put it and just plug it into the mains so it gets power. And of course, this extension cable that I got, so you plug it into the ADSL filter there and then just plug that into your like internet bit. In the UK, the internet runs through the phone line, uh, so we have a phone line connector. I don't know if that's the same in other countries or not, but yeah, that's literally all you need to do to set it up because everything is in place on the board. So just put the board wherever you want it, plug it in, it's simple as that. In the original plan, I did plan to have the router plugged in here on the uh, end connector, but I've since changed my idea and put it in there. The reason why I've got both the modem and the router plugged in here is because, as you can see by the cable, this is where the electricity feeds into this, uh, this like extension cable or whatever it's called. So these two devices, the modem and the router, will be the first to receive power from the wall. That means these two devices, the modem and the router, will receive the cleanest power as the power literally comes in here and feeds these two sockets first. And then in here, uh, I usually have my fan plugged into that one, my desktop fan and my hard drive dock plugged into that one, which means that these two devices shouldn't affect the power these receive as these two devices are receiving the power after these two have received their power. Therefore, me turning on and off my hard drive docks, powering up the hard drives and turning the fan on and off, the power drawn from me doing those won't affect the power these receive because, like I've just said, these receive the power before these do. Hope that makes sense. I mean, on paper, there probably literally isn't any reason to uh, really bother which plugs they're plugged into. But still, that's something I have considered, so I've decided to remove the router power from there originally, now located here beside the modem. So this has been it for this video. This has been the construction, mounting, and testing of the new internet board, or network board. I've called it a network panel. So yeah, it's going to make cleaning really easy because literally I just take the board off and then just, like, I can remove the cables and then just clean it. And I don't need to worry about repositioning it all for setting up because it's already set up. I hope you've liked this video. If you have liked it, give it a like. If you've disliked it, then give it a dislike. And remember to comment, favourite, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you in the next video.